Welcome back traders to Stad Oasis channel. My name is Ali Casey. This is part two of the ranking video. So if you missed part one, please go and uh, watch it. And if you already did, then uh, please continue. So now that we covered this concept, uh, you can pick all of them, of course, pick none. And you can always uh, pick uh, the default. So right now we have nothing. So if you go and pick a uh, default, a template then it will pick its own uh, variables in it and of course like i said you can save and load your own uh, sets of variables now the other important part here is the cross check so when you go to cross check and let's pick for example the uh, uh, le le let's pick the monte carlo one so right now when i go to monte carlo i have my own filtering here Although these are the same, you can build both of these in either way, uh, but it's available here. And you will see the difference now. So if, when you click on this, before we had the main data. So you can see now these filters, when you, when you click on one, it's all usually working on main data. In robustness check, by default, it's usually working on the... Uh, on the variable itself so here monte carlo then you can see here this is working on monte carlo trades manipulation this however is available and also you can always let's say come here delete those filter don't use them and you can build them in ranking so let me build one on uh, so let's build this filter right now so this is randomized trades order with method resampling, uh, sorry, filtering. Net profit of Monte Carlo trades with coefficient uh, of 80% is greater than 60% of net profit. So let's start with uh, net profit. And it's greater than also net profit. Now, this net profit we come back here this is using the Monte Carlo trade manipulation and the confidence level is 80 we can come here and Monte Carlo trade manipulation and the confidence level is 80 and again it's greater than 60% of net profit this is obviously the total period. So the main data fall both and 60%. So I can come here and say this is the net profit of main data fall both and it's uh, 60%. So you can see if you use always the ranking here, then you can save them and use them. Then the, the, I think this will make it a proper way to do it. Of course, it's a preference thing. What I'm uh, saying, though, is all these filters in cross-check are available here, and all filters, of course, here are available in cross-check. It's just uh, to make it simpler for the user. These are already picked with the right data because for beginners, they probably will forget to pick the MC trades uh, because if you, if you say the net profit here is of main data, then nothing will change because these are both main data and all the data you're doing now, all the testing will be stored in, an, in a new matrix, which is the Monte Carlo trades. So to explain this further, when you build a strategy, all the vari variables are stored with tags. So this is the in sample, in sample validation, out of sample, and then the whole data so these are all tagged for all these strategies any filter i can pick here any of these filter profit factor sharp ratio maximum drawdown any any of these uh, and there are hundreds they're all tagged each calculation is tagged with with, with these uh, variables and then when you do the cross check then they are tagged they're they're a new test and tagged with different uh, uh, heads so uh, so the heading here is 
تريد مونتي كارلو تريدز مانيبوليشن اند ذن ذا هيدنج هير از ذا اديشنال ماركت بيكوز ذس از ذا اديشنال ماركت اند ذن اول ذيز هيدنجز ار اوف كورس افيلبل هير سو اي كان بيلد ون هير سو ليتس ليتس جو ليتس سي نمبر اوف تريدز So instead of main data, I have the the higher back test precision, what if simulation, Monte Carlo trades manipulation, back test on additional market, Monte Carlo retest, and the SPP walk forward and walk forward matrix. So every single variable here will be tagged depending on the data you're testing on. And inside that data, you have in sample, out of sample validation and full and both long and short this is very extremely powerful uh, feature once you start using it you'll come up with your own uh, set of condition that works on certain strategies and then the the beautiful thing here is you can save these for certain type of strategies or certain time or certain uh, time frames okay so now we will test uh, let's test the data i always do the number of trades it's the easiest one to find so let's do a number of trades and let's do a number of trades of out of sample greater than the number of trades of in sample uh, let's say 80 percent so i'm going to build strategies where the trades in the out of sample period is more than 80% of the trades of the in sample period. And so we go to data and uh, we get rid of these. Let's pick, uh, of course, since I'm asking 80%, then most likely it should be in the middle. So let's build on these and we will check to make sure that we're getting those conditions. So right now, uh, actually, let's make it easier. Let me, because uh, we will calculate this. Let me do 200. So right now, I'm asking the number of trades here should be twice the number of trades in N-sample. The, the way strategy quant uh, differentiate between the N-sample and out-sample is very easy. Just go to default uh, main data and you will see the out-of-sample is color-coded already. Even the trades will be color-coded. You can see here the uh, these are the trade for in sample and these are the trade for out of sample. And the way to know so number of trades here is 30, then we should have minimum 60 in out of sample. And so here is 105. Here is 11, minimum we should have 22, that's 35. 7, 15. 42, 94. So you get the picture. So the condition is met. Now I'm, I'm going to show you how you can make mistakes and which I made many times before. So, okay. So we know all these strategies have double. So this one, let me take it to retester. So now I will have the condition. Let me get rid of this and build number of trades and higher bracket well, is greater than so I'm gonna ask it to be 140 so we're gonna test this strategy the condition is for higher bracket precision let me make it even uh, clearer it's for Monte Carlo at confidence level 80. So this condition has to be calculated on Monte Carlo. 
So right now, I'm picking this. And based on this condition, this will fail. So if I go back to progress, I'm going to put it in portfolio. And I'm going to do retest. Same everything should happen here. See, the strategy passed. Because this condition, even though, yes, we have 135 trades, it's 140 here. But we're not, we didn't calculate any Monte Carlo trade. So the this variable, the number of trades, doesn't have any value in Monte Carlo. Actually, it doesn't have any value in all of these because we didn't do any calculation on these. Let me do here one for higher back test, save. So let's do the test again. And again, it passed. Because again, it's the same thing. There is no uh, value here. But if I do this on the uh, higher precision, so let me do the cross check. And I'll switch these off because I want to use this one. And let's see now if it's going to pass or fail. So now it's failed. And you can see here the global filters, number of trades that should be more than 140 did not pass. Because this time, because now I, I tested uh, this variable so now there is data in this variable it's tagged so right now right now it's working so this is very important to keep in mind because I, I made this mistakes many times where I add the condition and of course it's not working because you didn't do the test there so uh, remember when when you're building uh, all the variables are tagged with main data Every single variable here is calculated for main data. And of course, in main data, you have full in sample, in sample validation, out of sample, out of sample, uh, number of out of samples. So these are all, of course, both long and short money. All these always, always tagged with main data in every test you do. And then when you do the robustness testing, so each one has its own tags again. So when you do, let's say, let, let's say you're doing the higher back, uh, back test precision, then in ranking, all these variables now will be tagged with the main data. Of course, you have it. And then the higher back test precision. And if you do what if simulation, then again, all these variables will be tagged with the what if simulation and each one inside the what if simulation all these are available there is one more nice feature here is uh, let's clear clear this if you go to uh, builder and let's uh, keep three four five let's keep these five so right now I can build a portfolio out of these. So merge strategies. And it's just a simulated portfolio with the initial capital. So this is a portfolio now. So right now if I take this portfolio to the retester. So now this portfolio has also its own data, which is, you already saw it, it's tagged here. So if I tag this with portfolio, then all these variables, they are calculated on the portfolio. So any test I do on the portfolio, it's tagged with portfolio. Between main data and portfolio, they are the same if it's one strategy. Because anytime you have one strategy, it's that strategy in the portfolio. So any, any strategy you build here alone, if I pick here portfolio, you will see same data is available because same data, because it's one strategy. So it's one strategy inside every strategy. It's inside its own portfolio. Let's put it this way. Unless when you combine them, then it's different. Uh, let's go back to ranking. So uh, main data portfolio, and then all these are for robustness check. In summary, 
this is a obviously deep subject. The problem is very hard to explain everything on this <laughs> as I would like to do. Uh, maybe if you have some questions, direct questions on how to do some things, I can explain it further in separate videos. But let's use this video as the general foundation on how to use ranking, what variables data are stored, and from what backtest. So uh, uh, keep in mind all data always available in main data and portfolio for every strategy you build. And then all variables are again available for each backtest you do. So when you do this robustness check, this robustness check, they will be available uh, especially for that robustness check. And then from that concept, from that uh, understanding, you can build your own uh, filters and you can start to understand what's happening and why you're adding these filters. And all these filters, again, are available inside cross-check in filtering. So you can either use it here or use it in ranking. Don't use it on both. And the uh, priorities when you build is always to... Uh, uh, it's done first on the genetic and second on the automatic and third on the custom filters. And when you do the robustness check, it will go priority on the filters in the robustness check and then on the uh, automatic and ranking. I know it's a difficult subject to grasp, but you can watch the video again to understand. And if you have any questions, please post it below the video or send me an email and I'll be happy to answer them. As usual, please like, subscribe, share, uh, so other uh, uh, traders can uh, get some news out of this video. And until the next one, stay safe.